good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a look at Zamazenta V. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Zamazenta V was kind of revealed, almost, back at the Pokemon World Championships, but there was a huge amount of information missing. Well, now, not only have the lovely folks at Pokemon gone and revealed Zamazenta V, but they've actually gone and revealed it in English. Which, I'm going to be honest, right? From a purely selfish point of view, is a wonderful thing for me. Yay! So, Zamazenta V, then, it is actually the biggest, baddest, bulkiest of all of the Pokemon V we've seen so far. If I remember correctly, and do correct me in the comment section if I am mistaken, it is the only one we've seen so far that gets up to 230 HP. So, that's pretty gosh darn good. We've got a retreat cost of 2, which is alright. It's not great, it's not terrible. And we've got that resistance to grass... Which metal Pokemon seem to be having lately? Oh yeah, we're a metal Pokemon. We didn't know this before. This information was hidden because of spoilers about the game. They didn't want to give away too much about Zamazenta beforehand. Well, happy to now confirm that Zamazenta is a metal Pokemon. And this is good. There's lots of good things about being a metal Pokemon. You can get your energy back with Mount Coronet, which is fine. But far more importantly, you've got things like Metal Frying Pan, which takes away your weakness. And we've got that new Metal Patch, Metal Saucer, whatever you want to call it card, which is literally just Aqua Patch, but for Metal Pokemon. That one's getting its own video later. Unless it's already had its own video, but I don't think it has? Let's say it hasn't for now. So, yeah, that's pretty gosh darn good. It's a good time to be a metal Pokemon. Plus, you're hitting weakness on all of those pesky fairy Pokemon like Gardevoir and Sylveon. So, we've got big HP, but is there anything even better? Oh my goodness, yes, the ability. Dauntless Shield. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm, I'm going to spoil it a little bit, right? The attack here is fine, it's nothing particularly over the top. So essentially, that turns Zamazenta into a Pokemon which serves a very specific purpose. If we are in a format with a whole heap of VMAX Pokemon, yeah, this is going to be a phenomenal card, which is going to see a ridiculous amount of play. And if Pokemon VMAX turns into a real flash in the pan, this is just not going to be particularly good. It's not going to see a huge amount of play. I mean, you can look at it like Latios GX. Latios GX has a really nice attack. For one Psychic and two Colorless Energy, Tag Purge. Does 120 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Tag Team Pokemon. They are quite similar, in fact, in the way that they prevent damage, but they do not prevent other effects of attacks. But if we look at the format we've been in lately, Pikachu and Zekrom's been great. And Reshiram and Charizard has been great. And Mewtwo and Mew has been great. And Gardevoir and Sylveon has been great. We've been in a very, very tag team heavy format. Which means that Latios GX has been an exceptionally good card. It's seen a lot of play, it's found its way into a lot of decks, and it's really pulled its weight because we've been needing to take down the scum that is Tag Team GX's. Only joking, there's nothing really wrong with them, but Latios doesn't like them, and he's been after them. And that's where Zamazenta comes in. If you're worried about Pokemon VMAX... He's your boy. And it's a basic Pokemon, right? So if you're playing a metal deck, there's not really any reason to not put it in. And while we're here, it's a Pokemon V. Now, most of the Pokemon V we've seen don't have abilities, but this one does. Power Plant? Well, if we look at the wording of Power Plant, Power Plant says Pokemon GX and EX in play, both yours and your opponents, have no abilities. This isn't a Pokemon GX. It's 
It's not a Pokemon EX, it's a Pokemon V. Similarly, we just got the new Mimikyu in Cosmic Eclipse, which does a very similar kind of thing. The new Mimikyu in Cosmic Eclipse says that any Pokemon GX in play with any damage counters on them have no abilities. But this isn't a Pokemon GX. It's a Pokemon V. Now, if we look back at the history, we are going to get a way to turn off Pokemon V abilities. We always have done. But as it stands at the moment, there is no ability lock in standard that will work for Pokemon V. Sure, in Expanded, we've got Alola Muck that turns off all basic Pokemon abilities. And sure, we can also take a look at something like Garboda that just plain turns off abilities. But they're not in standard. The only thing we've got that will turn off your ability is slacking. Except slacking isn't a Pokemon V Max, so it doesn't matter if you've got an ability when you're facing it down or not. I mean, we can also look at Glaceon, but Glaceon again, firstly has to be active. Secondly, only turns off abilities of EX and GX Pokemon. And as a fun little side note, you're also hitting it for weakness. So no one cares. This ability is staying around. Now, as it stands at the moment, we have seen three Pokemon G Max. I'm sure we'll see a bunch of others, but as it stands at the moment, we've seen three Pokemon V Max. We've seen Lapras, we've seen Snorlax, and we've seen Meowth. Now, the weird thing is, none of them can actually get a one-hit KO, at least as it stands at the moment. Well, that's, no, that's not strictly true. Let me explain. Meowth, and they've only got one attack each. Meowth does 200 damage and draws three cards. Now, they will still be able to draw their three cards, but they won't do any damage. Snorlax does 60 damage plus 30 more for each of your bench Pokemon. So if you've got a full bench of five Pokemon, you're doing 210. That's not a KO. And this is assuming there's nothing like Metal Frying Pan. Now, Lapras VMAX can get a KO. Lapras VMAX for free colorless energy does 90 damage, plus 30 more for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So, if you pile enough energy on, then I suppose you will get a KO. If anyone's wondering, it's 5. 5 energy is 150, add the 90 base is 240, and that's going to be the lowest amount. So, it's going to take 5 energy to get a 1-hit KO. It would if you didn't already have immunity to it. So the point is, all of these Pokemon would be kind of causing you issues but not be one hit KO, but it doesn't matter. Now, you're not preventing any other effects, but the only one we've seen so far is Meowth drawing three cards. When we get VMAX attacks which are dropping damage counters or putting on special conditions or things of that nature, then this will become a lot less useful. As it is at the moment, you have immunity from those three Pokemon. Now, incidentally, we know that there is at least one more coming in Sword and Shield, or at least I really bloomin' should be, because when VMAX were teased at the World Championships, we were shown the outline of a card with 330 HP, and if you were paying attention a minute ago, you might have noticed that all three of the VMAX I showed you did not have 330 HP. 300, 320, 340. Now, in terms of attack, 2 Metal, 1 Colorless, 130 damage, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I'm not loving it. I mean, in terms of damage, you're only really getting basic non-GXs. So, I mean, there's a bunch of things out there like Giratina, like Zapdos, etc. that you will get KOs on. But you're basically talking about basics. That's not really good enough. When it comes to GXs and tag teams and Vs, you're two hit KOing. Except actually, when you look at stuff like Reshiram and Charizard and Mewtwo and Mew, you're not actually two hit KOing. You'll be 10 damage short. And when it comes to Pokemon V Max, I mean, well, you're well into free hit KO territory here. You're not doing a huge amount of damage. And you are discarding a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. But what special energy is around at the moment? Now, Beast Energy is pretty good, and you'll see the odd deck playing some in like Rainbow. But the best special energy we've got at the moment is Triple Acceleration Energy, which falls off at the end of your turn anyway. So, yeah. Maybe in the future we're going to have a format that's really heavy on special energy, and then this attack's going to be good. 
But this isn't a Pokemon that we play for the attack. Alright? It's just not. This is a Pokemon that we play because it is immune to Pokemon VMAX. And that is what this entire Pokemon is built around. This is the entire point of it. This is what it does. And the question here is extremely simple. Are you worried about any Pokemon VMAX? If the answer is yes, this is a great Pokemon that you should absolutely be playing. If the answer is no, this probably isn't good enough. It doesn't do enough damage. So, this is an odd one to score. If you're not against a Pokemon VMAX deck, it's kind of a solid free Wossy card at best. If you're against a deck that basically only plays VMAXs, then this is probably a 5 Wossy card. You're going to force them to just use their Pokemon V, not their VMAX. And most of them have way better VMAXs. So let's go ahead and sit on the fence a little bit and give it 4 Wossies. I like it under those circumstances. But I'd like to know what you think, ladies and gentlemen, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, maybe even tell me what videos to make, then head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where we talk lots of games, but none of those games have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.